Are you thinking about being an entrepreneur and aren't really sure about what you should be doing? Are you the person that everyone always comes and asks for advice? Well, those might be signs that it is time for you to be a coach or consultant, honey. And in this video, I'm going to give you some key indicators if you are the next coach. And in this video, I'm gonna give you seven key signs for you to really think, huh, the next big coach am i the next healer out here called to help people maybe you are hello everyone i am nasaret bawa a business and life coach here to help you get those ideas out of your head and into the world so you can be able to create a business where you can have control over your wealth and take care of yourself. And in this video, I'm going to give you a little quizzy quiz to see if coaching or consulting is the right path for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, are you a good listener? That is really a great you know, sign that you might be the next big coach out here to really help you be able to establish a career and make money being you. Being an active listener is actually one of the things that I learned in my first coaching certification. You know, being able to pick up on cues, being able to listen to what people say and get behind their words is really a key superpower of any coach. When I, uh, before I took my coaching certification, I was doing kind of coaching. I was doing readings on people, right? Tarot and ancestor readings. And if I go back and look at a few of my videos, I was, I was talking the entire time. And that is really not the best way to get people to realize change. The best way is to really listen in, listen on to some key words, because sometimes people speak and they don't even hear their own words. So if you're a good listener, coaching may be good for you. Number two, you have overcome some type of struggle. The reason why I believe that coaching and consulting is really slated to be uh, exponentially grow. I think even in the last two years, I think from like 2022, it had a 2.2% growth, which is pretty big. And it's growing every day, especially with lots of people like me who are training other coaches and consultants about how to be able to do this business. And there is no greater asset than someone that has been where you have been. Even if you go to a therapist, right? The therapist may not have been through all of these different struggles that each one of their clients, they're reading from a textbook. They're, they're, they're giving you experiences based off of something that they read. Coach or a consultant is actually, in my opinion, even better than a therapist if you find someone to help you overcome a specific struggle that you yourself have experienced. So I said this in a prior video where I was asking you to ask yourself six key questions before you quit your nine to five. And one of those key questions were, what have you overcome? So if you've lost weight, if you've recovered from a divorce, if you have transitioned behaviors of your children, if you have transitioned from one career to another, how did you help yourself during a layoff? Trust me, these are really specific things that you can be able to put out into the world to be able to make money for yourself. The next key sign is, do you enjoy helping people? I can tell you one of my greatest joys, it really is a, an extreme joy of mine. I'm not a coach because I want to be, okay? I am a coach because I love helping people. And let me tell you, people that are close to me, that they hell, you on my channel. I'll say, I'm not coaching anymore. I'm not coaching anymore. I'm not coaching anymore. But I can't stay away from it. Because honestly, being able to sit across from another person and see them be able to get a result that they've been trying to get for years, being able to see people set up businesses, pass tests, and do things that they would have never done had I not been able to kind of get in that head and, and get them to where they 
they need to be the light in their eyes like i live for that and when i feel like i'm not getting that from someone it you know i go into hyper focus mode what, what can we do what can we do because i generally have a deep love for helping people you may as well. And just because you don't necessarily like people does not necessarily mean that you can't be a good helper because you might be saying, I do like helping people, but I don't really like people. <laughs> That's all right. You just around the wrong people. That's all. Change your scenery, okay? And be able to stand in service because I guarantee if you love helping people, it is something intrinsically the universe put inside it. Number four, are people just naturally drawn to you? You know, in those instances where I was working on my confidence and working on my level of security, it did not matter. I could be at the grocery store and people just want to talk to me. They want to tell me their issues. And I'm like, I am at the grocery store. I do not want to talk to you right now. You know, sometimes in the past, it would be so annoying. And then now I have to put up really strong boundaries because people will naturally just be, they, they just, they just feel it on me. Oh, she can help me. And I'm like, yeah, my help comes with an invoice now, right? And don't feel bad about telling people that my help comes with an invoice, all right? So if you are um, naturally, people are naturally drawn to you, coaching and consulting may be a good career for you to take up uh, and definitely a great uh, way for you to start your own business, which is why I have created 90 Days to Launch. I am so frustrated with people that have all of these fantastic ideas that I know other people would be willing to pay for them, but because of limited thinking or they don't know how to do it or they're a little bit fearful, they don't walk out and stand into their purpose I don't want that for you. In my program, 90 Days to Launch, not only do we get your idea out of your head and into the world within 90 days, I also give you three months of coaching, right? Three months of additional coaching to help you massage your idea. Maybe you need help with sales scripts. Maybe you got somebody on the line and you need some help. And if you sign up on one-on-one -on -one coaching, I will even go into some of your coaching sessions with you, your first few sessions and give you feedback. You can send me a recording of the coaching programs. Just make sure you're letting them know, hey, I'm recording this and I'm gonna send it to my coach. Is that okay? Make sure they're comfortable with that. And if you're coaching with me one-on-one, -on -one, I'll actually evaluate it for you and send you some feedback. And here is the offer that I make out to all of the entrepreneurs that come into 90 Days to Launch. Whether you are in one-on-one -on -one coaching or you are enrolled in the group coaching program, I make sure that you get your enrollment feedback. If you follow every step that I tell you and you still don't have your coaching feedback, I am going to actually coach you one-on-one -on -one until you get your investment back. So it is no loss here. You pay me and I teach you how to get that money right back. Get that money right back. Get that money right back. Number five, you are a personal growth junkie. Let me tell you something. If you come up in here and look at my bookshelf, I have Joe Dispenza. I have books by Louisa Teach. I have books by E5 Practitioners. I have books by Carolyn Mays. I mean, Cindy Dale. It is a personal development library around here. So if you are a personal development junkie, that is actually a little bit of an intrinsic ability that the universe has given you to be able to soak up that knowledge. What you wanna do is start tracking whatever you read in those books what worked for you and turn it into a business, turn it into a coaching program, right? But if you are a personal development junkie, let me tell you something, the universe wants you to be a coaching consultant. Number six, you are highly empathic. If empathic abilities is a part of your ancestral archive, then I'm here to tell you, you're here to serve in some type of way. Healer, product service developer, coach or consultant, which is primarily who I work with, who I service. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Get on the good foot, get out there and 
become a coach or consultant. Having the ability to be able to relate to other people, to be able to relate to how they, you know, do things, it really is a superpower. You know, with me being a medium and an empath, you know, being able to like see the what the person can become, to already see it, already be able to look down at the line and be like, oh my gosh, this person is gonna be so great. That actually feeds my ability to help the person and keep them on track with their greatness. So if you are highly empathetic, it's probably time for you to join in some type of coaching program so you can learn how to make money with that superpower. And lastly, your current job is no longer fulfilling you. It is not the sauce. It is not you. You ain't feeling it. I got to get up out of here. It's feeling very constricted. I talked about in another video of, you know, losing your job is not always a bad thing. Sometimes it's the universe, but I would tell you that if you are feeling unfulfilled with inside of yourself, get ready for the layoff, get ready for being fired because the universe is not having people stay in places that are not for their highest and greatest good. Many times my layoffs, if I looked at my emotions before those layoffs, it really was a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? In some instances, I may have even self-sabotaged myself purposely, you know, of course me not knowing it, but higher self sometimes, you think sometimes self-sabotage is purposeful. Your higher self will go ahead and have you do some funky stuff to put you in a situation that that you yourself would not actually take the steps to get out of. So sometimes you gotta be set up a little bit. And you're like, why did I do that? Because you need to get up out of there, that's why. So if your job is not fulfilling you, now is the time for you to be a coach and consultant. Again, I would love to have you in 90 days to launch to be able to get your dreams out of your head and into the world within 90 days with three months of additional coaching. Would love to make sure that you get your enrollment feedback within your time. And it can absolutely be done with the right processes. And if you have not already, make sure you go into the description or go to my website and download the Abundance Accelerator Business Checklist so you can have an idea of everything that you need to do. And if you wanted to do it on your own, no problem. You really have a whole framework of everything you need to do in 90 days to set up your success. And again, if you need a little help with it, I am here for you, Ashe. Yo, all right? You have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.